Welcome back to All the Tape for this exciting weight class. Julio Arce last competed in the featherweight division November of 2019. Lies with you. Here's Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, first fighting out of the blue corner, a big martial artist weighing in at 135 pounds. Fighting! You are! Holding a professional record, 16 wins, 4 losses. Fighting at a Bayside, Queens, New York! And where the action begins, our referee in charge, Chris Hyde. Brooklyn is here with us in Las Vegas. It's Brian Kelleher, who is a current UFC bantamweight. There, which is not general for Southpaws. So the low kick will be there for both of them. Standing in that switch stance and throwing outside leg kicks on kicks. As we just saw with Poirier and McGregor. Kick. Ewell's going to be looking for that left hand the whole fight. Keep an eye. Watch it. Guess join me to break down all the best bets for every big event. The next episode will... One minute in. Battle of leg kicks so far. He's real fast and he's picking up on the... Oh! Oh! Caught the kick. Right. Waiting for something to touch and then he fires a combination back. Kind of slows down the range back. That was nasty. Very nice read by Arce there. And with some of the very bright prospects up at 145 pounds. Yeah. You talk about a win that like ages well. Yeah. The win over. He's just waiting for Ul to come in and then he's trading. You know what's crazy is like we're going to see this later too with Dillashaw and, and Sanhagen. How does he lead the interactions in trying to counter? Because that taller guy fight at. Uh, yes, pound division. Oh. I mean, those one twos from both these guys are there. Beautiful left hand there by Arce. You know the power in Arce's hands when he lets that two go like that. That one right oh. there. I mean, both these guys hit. Favorite in the matchup. He's had the biggest land so far through four. He should understand and take that from the always grow when you lose a fight. Implement what they're asking him to do. What I'm seeing is, ooh, it's kind of let it be first. Forces the clinch. 20 seconds to go round one. Let's mention those odds at minus 215 for our save. These are the live odds that swelled it here until we hear the horn. Round two coming off. Look, he's turning off to that right. What you do is set that jab when he turns that corner. Yeah. Bop. Sometimes he even turns on his own. He doesn't. Like, dude, and pick, double, start doubling the shit up. You hear yeah. me? Does double that jab because he's trying to double it and catch you throwing it. Trying to counter back off. Back in that motherfucker. You felt this on the line in the headliner, Derek Lewis and Sid gone. Bye for the interim. Juliana Pena, UFC 265. Two weeks from tonight, only on approaches Nunes. Because Pena's a killer, man. She's a savage. She will not be that fight. How about Derek Lewis and Houston? Oh, Derek Lewis and Houston, boy. Just... I think the punch you guys got to be watching at home is that right hook of Arce. It's drop after the one-two. He follows with that hook right there. And oh, I'm sorry. He's right in position to try to throw that straight left hand right behind it. Strong opening. Go. Daniel and Ronnie in his corner tonight. Check. You has not been able to. It's because Arce is doing a good job keeping him on his back foot, which we know it's hard. Because when you can't reach him with the hands, you reach him with the legs. I think that's what's made. But even that kick he threw is kind of a bit of a feeler, right? Let's yeah. see if it lands. With that's what Arce is doing well is he knows he's the shorter fighter, so he's got to move the dice. Draw a reaction from Yule after landing there, and he goes back to it easier to get to and you see Arce making that read making that I that now they're both using the feints in this second round a lot did so effectively now he's listening to his corner and having a little bit more success changing that target gotta mix up the target you can't there it is can't hit hunt and I think that's the best part about it. he loaded that left hand up so much that Arce didn't even have to keep him up yeah and you're right it's a lot different in the silence just hearing everything, the corners just holding tonight. Yes, well, 150 do. VIP experience here tonight, so there are some fans. Oh! Oh! Arce is swinging for the oh big one. Oh. 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 Knockout in round man. two. I was good, man. Dead left hurt him. Bad. He's up in trouble. Just pick the right times to go. Right here, let's take a left hand just right on the chin. Look at that. He doesn't even really force it a fight. He smiled when he got hit with good shots, and then Arce just swore. 
The corner thrilled. Not only ends the long, hey, coming up ready. next. Two strikes on baby. We coming up. We coming up. Just you wait. Good job, baby. Go take that out for yourself. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Job well done, sir. Thank you. For analysis, opinions, interviews from the personalities you want to hear from Julio Arce with a huge result to make it official. Here's Bruce. Of round number two, declaring the winner by TKO.